Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to explain about what is Elastic Load Balancer in AWS and how to create it. Okay, first of all, what is Elastic Load Balancer? This Elastic Load Balancer distributes traffic between multiple EC2 instances in one or more availability zones in a single region. Now, we may get it out. Why do we really need this Elastic Load Balancer? I can simply deploy my web application on EC2 instance and it will work well, right? What if if it is if our web application or EC2 instance is suddenly receiving high amount of load? It may cause performance issues, right? I will explain an example for better understanding. Let's assume I have a web application deployed on EC2 instance. Currently, it is just receiving thousand requests per day, and after few days, it became much popular and it started receiving 1 lakh requests per day. The 1000 requests per day is very less amount of load. So our EC2 instance can handle it very well. But 1 lakh requests per day is very high amount of load right compared to the earlier load. Now our application may cause performance issues. So if we use this elastic load balancer and let's assume a scenario our elastic load balancer is having 10 EC2 instances then Elastic load balancer distributes all the 1 lakh requests to 10 EC2 instances equally. It means every EC2 instance will receive 10,000 requests. So it will uh, help us in maintaining the same performance even if we are getting so much of load to our application. Okay, I hope you guys understand the use of Elastic load balancer. Now let's start implementing it. Now, if you observe, I have two instances running app1 and app2. The response for instance app1 is app1. I'm just turning a string here. Here, the response is app2. Now, I want to implement load balancer for these two instances and show you how elastic load balancer is distributing the load equally. The reason here the responses are different is I want to show you, right? whether uh, it is hitting the same instance or different instance every time I hit it. For just proving our elastic load balance is splitting the request, I have written different kind of responses. Here let me click on elastic load balancer. In elastic load balancer we have four type of load balances. Okay, application load balancer, network load balancer and gateway load balancer and classic load balancer. This classic load balancer is very older one, even AWS is not recommending to use it. And if it's come to gateway load balancer, it is used to deploy third party virtual appliances. Whenever we, we want to deploy some application which need high performance, then we need this uh, network load balancer. I can say like uh, if it's uh, come to bank application, we need high performance, right? There should be no delay in any transaction, cash transaction especially. Then we need this network load balancer. And this application load balancer is very popular one. It provides advanced routing and visibility features. Now I am going to create an application load balancer. Now let me give the some name to my load balancer. Let me say my elastic load balancer. I am just uh, keeping this IP address type and scheme to the default ones. Okay, even with the VP VPC also same, I am not touching it. Here, I am trying to select multiple availability zones. You can also select three, there is no issue with that. Let me try to create a security group here. Click on create a new security group. I can select my security group. This is my security group. Let me go down and add a inbound rule. It is for allowing traffic. Okay. Let me click on save. 
sorry create security group here let me refresh it once my security group am okay now let me unselect this default one here if it's come to listeners and routing i want to create a target group here let's name our target group as my target here it is asking that choose a target type right instances ip addresses lambda function elastic load balancer now let's discuss about the instances in for the tutorials i will explain about the lambda functions also okay let me name my target group my target group let me click on next here i want to select these two instances and click on include as pending below now let me click on create target group here it is completed right let me go here and refresh it and now we get this my target group let me go down now and click on create load balance now my load balance got created right now let me try to access it let's wait for the response now we got the response app one right now let me try to reload the page now we got the response app two it means our load balancer is distributing the traffic to the instances now i hope you guys understood how to what is the elastic load balancer and how to create it that's all for the video thank you